front of the kid? You know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass. Say, I don't know, something else. Make the tours fun. Let the little buggers crawl all over the bots. Let them mm. ride them or something. Maybe not. Know. They're safe and fun. We need to get the kids interested in robots, not put them to sleep. Yeah, that was your downfall, and for the love of God, don't let the robots hang on to any of these. And the only one that may not kill them is Nora, and that's still not a good bot to let them hang on. Granted, she wants us to hang on her. Music of our people signifying um, well more of my painful deaths. We need to get down there. <clears throat> That's a long ways away, and probably a lot of robots in between, and probably whatever the hell it was that took the train down. Also, the most basic robots have got an upgrade. Also, if I see that slimy little German man again, I'm gonna freaking drop kick. That's a strange sentence, but if you watch the last episode, you'd understand why. Uh... Legit, how do I get down from here without shattering my shins? Hey, that rhymes. Oh, there's stairs. Found them. Oh, God, it's not gonna be a good day if it took me that long to find the stairs. Come on! Hi. Not that hooker bot again. Watch out! <laughs> there are robots beneath us. Really? No kidding! I thought they were ladybugs. <laughs> oh, I love this sarcastic like, done with a tone. Also, she is not a hooker. She's a lovely. Hello, Nora. It's been a bit. How you Access doing, sweetheart? Granted. What the hell are you on about? This one's not pervy. No, I'm sad. Why am I perv bot? Ugh. Oh. Some things don't need to be said. Oh my Jesus, bloody hell, I built up a collection. Oh God, I love the music. No one knows how to get you in the mood. Shut up. I'm gonna make some cartridges. Uh, we're dealing with robots. Probably electricity damage then. I need to try and figure out how these what the hell is wrong with that one? I need to figure out how these work. Let's get cryojets. Oh. Freeze your enemy, slow them down for a while. Remember, a frozen enemy only takes a portion of damage to your attacks and thaws out more quickly uh, with each with hits it takes. That's actually... What the sweet hell is that place? What? <laughs> uh. Oh. Okay, so I can only have one equipped at a time, and I have to switch between them. Because that's already loot. Okay, that makes sense. So they may do with small controller. Okay. <clears throat> so what are you going to insult Nora for? Really, my guy? Um... How do I use cartridges? Oh, well, that's my homer shield. What's wrong? It's a- Ow! Yep, you just hit my nuts. Okay, stop talking crap and start smashing robots. And I don't mean that about Nora. At least this time. Oh, she's gonna be a long run joke. Am I missing something, or did that guy die in two hits? Weird. I'm trying to find... No. No. Yeah, I know I had a weapon wheel. Oh, you know what would help if I actually had some of them in my inventory? I'm, I'm trying to figure this out procedure. because it's probably going to come in handy. Oh, wait a minute. Right here. Hey, here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, how does it work? I guess we'll find out. Hello! Can you come punch me? 
I know that's probably a weird request that you don't hear often, but... Oh yeah, good boy. Hmm. Uh, that didn't work. Did it work, or are they just immune? Oh, you... Oh crap, I'm stuck. Yeah, you stop that. You... <laughs> as I am but you're so cute honestly despite how terrifying you little saw guys are you're adorable too bad I gotta blast your freaking skull open huh tough little bugger now he's an exploded little bugger um there we go now I'm free this is not good for my health ow on. They're increasing their sensor range. You triggered their sensors, Major. Oh no, kidding! I couldn't figure that out. Ah! <laughs> I'm almost dead. No kidding! I triggered their sensors. Oh crap! Is I get to give another try and not being seen? Okay, let's get the shock room try. Hello. Oh, wait, that's just fun. You can't do jack now, can you? Oh, shit, I my freaking shotgun reloaded just in case. And here's Lenin, just like at the Vidian H in Moscow. Indeed, but this statue was erected not by simple workmen, but by robots based on a sculptor's sketches. This approach hmm. has become quite popular over the last few years. Yeah, we know that. I mean, yeah, I might. Well, I, th I don't think it's as impressive with robots can do it, because robots, unless they glitch out software-wise or mechanically, I unless they glitch out software or mechanically, they're not really gonna make a mistake. So it's nowhere near as impressive as when a human does it. At least when a human does it, it's impressive. It's impressive, even if they do make a mistake. Part of me kind of wishes it was a chance for it to electrocute them, but hey, part of me. A Sweet. Yep. Go, 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 before he sees. Part of me wishes it was a chance to electrocute them, because if it's just going to electrocute them every time, then that makes robots okay, so much more easier here? to deal with. Remember to play these. Ooh. Just unlock something down the way. Don't know what it is. Bot station. What's bot station useful for? Oh, he activated my health gate immediately. This problem. Okay, you need to chill. Comrade Major, based on the enemy's alert level data, you are fucked. <laughs> that is not what you were supposed to say. You prick. Stop ad libbing things. I know I'm screwed. What do you think I'm bashing this guy's skull in so quickly? Okay, you, where are you? Hit me in here? Well, now I'm just not gonna shoot at you guys, because what's the effing points? You can't reach me in here. Okay. What the hell are you doing? Stop that. First time found a car. I can get in a car? I can drive a car? Um... What? It's one at every stage station, apparently. Huh. <laughs> Come here, you little 
breaks! Roadkill! <laughs> Whoa! What was that? It's like, please, no, father! Oh, crap. My car's getting destroyed. Ooh, it's one of these guys! You're, oh, you like car? I, is he dead? Is he dead? No! No, 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 he's not dead yet! Okay, run him over! Run him into the Oh crap, get out, get out. Okay. Relatively okay. I should have gotten in the car. <laughs> Getting in cars with me is a bad idea because I always create chaos. Oh no, my car blew up. Stop. Oh, you stop that. Um, let's, 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 uh, maybe not. Oh, sweet Jesus! Oh, I knew it was too good to be true, and you don't give a damn about ice. Oh, that missed. Thankfully, come on, come on, come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. you don't give a shit about electricity either. Okay, move. Nora, I would love some help, you freak. Oh, this is not how I expected to meet up with you guys. Ow! Let's maybe not for the moment. The sweet Jesus was that it was one of those things that attacked us when we met up with Granny. Let's go look around somewhere else. Oh god. This seems like a terrible idea for me. But whoever said I went with the smart ideas. Oh my sweet Jesus, I can swim. <laughs> we'll touch on that in a second. God, they throw you onto the big world and suddenly there's so much more I can do. Like, hit robots with cars. Jesus. Town Square Massacre, I guess. Oh no, not again. Zombies. So the robot- okay. This was definitely planned. So the robots came to life. I don't think Petrov intended what happened to happen, but what happened did happen. I think... Someone tricked Petrov into setting off the robots because they already had their combative stuff going on to begin with. So it was easy enough to just get him to activate it. And then, someone allowed this stuff to get out. Basically turning the humans into soldiers. Creating more chaos and anarchy. Oh, sweet Jesus, I just cut that person in half. I don't need fire, I'm just chaos. <laughs> Poor guy's still taking his step. Uh, don't worry, you're not gonna have to kneel for long. Just the rest of your... Until your body uh, decomposes. Do you decompose? You would make great mulch, wouldn't you? Eat. Hmm. Camera's deactivated. much all at once i love that i actually really freaking like that so a lot of the times i don't have music there's not music going on but in that moment the music that would normally play on the radio once i like really got into a fight not like a single fight but like i was actually in a fight it faded in 
And that was so freaking cool. I probably kept that simply for that. That was so cool, but I got a little overwhelmed. Too many of the little plants. God, this is some good music. And then it returns to only being part of this because I love that! That is such a good way to doing that. This... what is this? I can't tell what the hell is going on here. Whatever this thing is, it's being turned up by this thing. Got that. Ooh, hey. This is unusual. The conversation of a living man with the residual memory of the deceased is one thing. But the conversation of two cadavers is something I haven't seen yet. Uh, I'm actually okay. Of course you are. Everybody says that. Residual fluctuations. But I am an expert and can safely say that you also perished, colleague. Huh? Dealing with an anomaly nobody's ever studied before. You're an expert, huh? We're dealing with an anomaly nobody's ever studied before. Hardly nobody. Few people, yes. But I just happen to be one of the researchers who identified this curious phenomenon. As you understand, nobody gave me a bunch of corpses to experiment on. Oh, but a wealth of opportunity this entire occasion represents. Did you know I'm detecting another? even more curious signal it is coming directly from uh Sorry. hey uh what happened i presume his polymer memory suddenly expired comrade major let's move on we have a lot of work to do you know it sounds insane listening to dead man saying that the standing axe wielding madman is actually a dead man, but considering the fact that we, before our accident, we can't remember anything. Remember, we had an accident at some point or another, and that just blanked all our memory before that, and all we know seems to be what we've been told? Creepy, huh? I don't trust that and I'm starting to wonder maybe we are dead just not quite in the same way as the rest of them are this and that there's the tower that connects to the cameras I need that to open up the bots place over there bot house whatever that is opened another one earlier but I didn't get to go to search it not gonna work because all the cameras are currently deactivated for some reason there's stuff under the ground and there seems to be a manhole open over here but it's plugged up with all this stuff I quit a fire cartridge to my axe and I want to see no I searched everything over in that town. I can't get the security back up and running so I can access the camera. See if there's anything of interest over here. Oh! I can actually go in here? Whoa. Didn't fully expect this. Let's see what we can find in here. Maybe we can get the town's security back up. <coughs> Is this place? Maybe these are the devs? Just nothing in here. Creepy. Guess I'm just not going to be able to get that security back online. Beep beep! Beep beep! I killed my card so quickly doing that, but I love it. I love just running down these. It ah! There goes my health gate. Why 
are you so prejudiced against Comrade Stockhouse? Because I hate cowards. <laughs> he used to goose step through Berlin, and now he's a model communist? Not entirely fair. Comrade Stockhausen was a medical doctor and scientist during World War II. He was a professor of medicine. Why are you sticking up for him? I just don't like him, okay? I don't care what he used to be. I just hate the way he's always running around and sucking up to the boss. Just yeah. Squash it. Also, he's a slimy German who used me for cover. I'm not exactly happy about that, no am I. Not sure you would be either. <laughs> The bop loop that I opened. What the hell is it? Uh. Oh, you! Fuck maintenance. The, whoa! I just did something to the hook? Oh! I made it land. Uh. Whoa. Uh. Whoa. Um. What did I just do? Uh. Okay. Okay, that's kind of fun, but, uh, what's the point? I mean, I can actually see a few points that you're trying to escape combatives and stuff. You know, kn knock a hawk down out of the sky and then jump on. Ah. Why do I do that? Also, I upgraded my healing so I can you So I only had to use one hand. Nor a suggestion at all. What does this do? Relay overload. When you select relay overload function, the wind br uh, barrier power generator circuit boards become overloaded, causing it to explode. Once a hawk loses its energy supply, it falls to the ground. The entire ecosystem in its area is deactivated. Chowers are summoned to repair the windbreaker, but the repair takes some time. So it's a way to completely knock the security system out of the sky? Whoa! Okay! How do we get inside? Hmm. I don't feel like wandering around here all goddamn day. Think carefully, Comrade Major. Is there anything you might have failed to consider? There must be a way into the VDNH. Oh, I thought you were talking about the Blue Hut. Uh, no shit! I can figure out how to get in there. I just want to explore, you pricks. There's so freaking much this area. Locked. What else is new? Charles, open it. Unfortunately, I lack the ability to unlock doors. You're like a broken record, you know that? <laughs> I'll deal with it. Don't worry, we can figure it out. We're a big boy. It's the okay. hawk service button. What does it do? It will cause the hawk to land so it can be serviced by a technician. How long will it stay there for? If it fails to make contact with a technician, not long. Mm. Then we need to move. What are you planning? I'm gonna take a ride on the Hawk and get a better view of the place. Maybe I'll see something. Maybe. Yeah, I'm heading into the BCNH, &B whatever. I don't think... I don't think I got everything. I definitely missed something underneath that one village over there. Because I couldn't get down there, but for right now, I'd seen quite a bit of this what area. I do? Hang on to this hand. I'll leave some of it for you guys. Tight. Hawks are not designed to be written. Yeah, that's not what your mother said. Wait, what? This should get me right where what I need to go. What are these tables for? They weren't here before. They're for riding down. The cable stabilized the hawk during bad weather. Huh. Maybe I can slide down a cable. I already figured it out, Charles. Or a Clippy. What the hell was your name again? Now I'm starting to forget things. Really? So close to getting the Dominator, but I don't 
those? So they come from lab techs. How many do I have? I have eleven. Lab techs and or the saw guys. So basically, I'm not getting any. Saving data. Okay, let's see how badly this is gonna go. I know I probably haven't seen everything in this area just yet, but I do want to leave some of the exploring up to you guys. It's not like I'm struggling. Whoa. Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. What? Hog 7 units are Whoa. quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking What is adorable. it? Yeah, it's so sweet and adorable. Holy crap, I can't keep up with it. Oh, boss fight. Where did the doom music come from? Ooh. Oh, hi. How you? Lethal damage, survival, use the thing. You need to stop right now, mister. This is not okay. Did I touch it? I was really ducking under it. Oh. Damn it. Hi. Ooh. Ooh, he pissed it off. Oh, I'm out of healing. I used all my healing. Well, that was expected. Lethal damage! See, you can only survive lethal damage. <laughs> yeah, patty pat, patty cake, patty cake, baker slam. This robot's gonna turn me into a fucking patty cake. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna go well. Oh, how do I? Shit, would you look at that? It's that thing again. Be careful. Hog 7 units are quite dangerous. Oh, come on. It's freaking adorable. go. That hurt it. Ah, miss. I know what I need to do. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. There we go. Heat. Oh, no, no, no. Not as much damage as I wanted. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, you ugly son of a gun. Actually, you probably are the son of a gun. Ah, 
too close. Come on! Need to either wear itself out, or I need another statue for it to smash. God, keeping track of this thing is so hard. Done. Come on. Who's your daddy? Hi, yo, 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 back off. Ooh, doesn't like that. Ay -ay -ay -ay. Nope. You tell me, Major. You have far more experience with combat robots than I do. I, I do? I mean, shit, I do, but I can't remember a damn thing. Convenient. They seem different somehow. Yeah. Convenient. Yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna end up turning. Give me your loot. I still don't think that's anywhere near enough for what I just went through. Oh, no, wait, there's extra stuffs. Woohoo! That was fun! Oh, I love it! Oh, it broke my machines. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just looking in the wrong place. God, that music. I, I saw something referencing McGordon Major and Tom McCart. Was that music made by McGordon? Because it felt so doom. It felt so doom. Pretty impressive, isn't it? You can really tell we're on the threshold of something really incredible. I just wish there weren't bodies all over the damn place. The celebration yeah. will be held on Monday in honor of national polymerization and the launch of Collective 2.0. All the highest ranking members of the Communist Party will be here. I can fix all this by then. I certainly hope your optimism turns out to be justified. It will. You'll see. I won't let Dr. Sechenov down again. I really don't like your continued love and care towards that man, considering it seems like he's used you for an experiment and abused your trust to turn you into his own little cleanup bitch. Let's not forget the part where, you know, even- More locked doors. Who the hell keeps locking everything? Whoever he <laughs> is. I bet he's got a goddamn combination lock on the John at home. These doors <laughs> will be opened via a symbolic gesture during the ceremony. Symbolic how? The system of mirrors will focus beams of light on the model of our solar system hanging above the entrance. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But, like, it's very, like- Remember, even the lab techs and the normal bots are those normal humanoid bots. Those are civilian. They're meant for civilians, not combat. Yet they have a combat laser. Why would they ever need that? Oh. Uh, the mirror on the left isn't working. Something is jamming the mechanism and preventing the mirror from ascending. Got it. 
Okay. Looks like it's back to the basement for me. What do you mean back to? Oh, come on. Freaking basements. Why do we have to end up in the basement? I know we look a lot like a goblin, but we're not. Hi. Oh, really? No entry. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. There. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use Pardon? an EMP on them. It's not going to kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? <laughs> so I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Very possibly. Speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? I love That's you. weird. Well, whatever. I love you, buddy. I really do. Ooh. Well, at least my weapons aren't pulled up by it. Comrade Major, Ooh. have you made it to the BDNH? Kinda. Sort of. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm Shut kind up, of almost German. there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No. I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then oh. get off my grill. Oh, I'm gonna drop kick a German. Okay. Hi. That makes me a little uncomfortable. Ooh, okay. Oh, my testicles just entered my mouth a little bit. Sorry. Hello. Hey, Wait, have you by any chance seen Oleg? Depends on who Oleg is. My partner. We worked here together. He kept saying these things would be the death of us. We even bet on who would be dismembered by magnets first. We got separated when everything went to shit. So I don't even know if I won. Oh. I mean, even if I find him, I'm not sure I'll be able to know either. Does it really help? Um. What, uh, what magnets were they here for? What magnets? W what are they here for? Well, magnetic absorption is used to eliminate all kinds of vibrations. They're a must when you have hazardous chemicals or... Uh, Pardon? Clear in one room and... Bore off drilling holes in another. Pardon? In case of earthquakes, sinkholes, or faulty foundations. And to make sure all those pretty DNA spirals in the lobby, they don't get smashed in a freak accident. So what happened to Ole? Uh, I think you won. You obviously got diced, iced before he I did. I think you won. You obviously got iced before he did. Really? Ooh. <laughs> Glad to hear that. The first good news in a long time. He owes me a drink. You tell him that if you run into his body. Well, the death you even... of the lemon. Mind your head. You even know he's... You're both dead. <laughs> what does a drink matter to a dead... Yeah, you know what? Drink would matter most to a dead man. <laughs> okay, through. Fading and in mostly one piece. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. Yep. Seriously, those mustaches are disturbing. What you staring at, you metal deep shit? Another door without a lock. Ugh. Okay. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. Uh, I don't either. Do I have to change the locks? The magnets? Oh, here we go. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? <laughs> the magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other Essentially. things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. 
<laughs> I love you, Major. There we go. Bring you back. Now I think about it. Hmm. You're not affected. Okay. Well, how about this idea? Come up here. Come on. Ooh, there we go. Whee! That didn't work. Hopefully you dipshits aren't, are still affected by friggin' electricity. Science, bitch. Someone has issues. Uh, it's just a man who flirts with upgrade bot. We had hats, we had suits, we had boots. We didn't have a play. Uh, what are you talking about? My partner and I used to service the magnets here. And each day we worried we might get grounded if we got careless. Or rubber treated pants, swallowed pills, put tinfoil under the hard hat, amethyst to avoid getting torn apart by the magnetic field. But it was okay. the robots that killed you. Yeah, Ironic. Come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons of body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots. It was lack of preparation. Oh god, not you this argument. Let's not start with this argument, buddy. Everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do yeah. what I did, and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's not wrong. a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but mm -hmm. whatever. I love you guys. I love you both. Charles, what the hell does Molotov the have hell? against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are. But neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. Yeah, what is he really doing? Here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrade Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechinov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. He's not wrong. The gloves speak in some hella logic. Like, some serious logic, that's what I was saying! Like, yeah, he sent you here, but it's so effing convenient that you just happen to already be here to already happen to end up in the middle of all of this. That's damn convenient! Doors open and um, that robot's propositioning itself for us. I do have to wonder though, what was the glove designed for? Little little clippy there. 
our glove, Charles. He was an experimental glove, and he seems to be completely of his own free will. Damn near like an entire another person. Which is odd. Oh, God, stop. I do not want that and or condone that. We were doing some freaky things to robots in here. Fading data. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <clears throat> I'm professional. Very professional. <laughs> What's wrong with me? No, oh, no, not sure. Oh god. Who the hell is doing that? They can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the what? contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because yeah, his enemies why? would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But hmm. how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. Interesting. So maybe Sechenov isn't a bad guy. He wants collected to be for everyone, and then the other asshat wants to make collective only for himself. What pervert was doing this? There we go. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. <laughs> Has anyone ever reached that level? Even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. That's it really. Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. 
He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. I want to try and understand a single word of what they just said, but honestly, my brain is hurting so badly. What the hell do you mean? I think Sechenov and Molotov are both bad. I think Sechenov used us as an experiment, and Molotov is bad in the way that they're describing. I think they're both bad. Also, so long as there has to be an alpha connector for something like this, it's... What the sw What the hell is wrong with... Why? Why? So long as there has to be an alpha connector for something like this, there will never be a true... True peace between it, you know? So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Uh, how safe is this? Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not yeah. a soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now, you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. Yeah, and have you ever heard of that... What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Hmm? What's that? Uh, as well, have you never heard of that old little... That old little tribute? If you allow your thinking to be done by intellectuals and your fighting to be done by soldiers, you have... Soldiers who don't know how to think and thinkers who don't know how to fight, something like that. It's a bad idea to have this them be separate. It's better to have them be. S Damn it. Hey, the music, but. I'm not liking this whole situation. Ah. Uh, crispy critters, what did you do? Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk. The backstabbing machine that killed me. Um. Huh. Yeah. That must feel pretty shitty. It's not about how it feels. It's about how I feel. And I'm pissed off. I'm full of rage. And I don't like it. I'm an even-tempered man. A peaceful man. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. Okay. Crispy critters. Ooh, you have possibilities for superconductors. So, here's Johnny. I and mean, he also killed a man, so. Well, I mean, Nora did too. But Nora wants a screw, so I think that's fine. Christ. There we go. Come on, die. I actually need Nora, don't I? I probably have enough stuff for that gun I wanted to build. Wait, just can slip past. Dead bodies all over the place. Hmm. Did you expect anything less? And there's Tereshkova's arm. 
What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Should be is the key point here. And currently is the other key points. Also, I didn't know we needed an arm. See, this is what happens when I do stuff out of order. I get so cut up looting, it's hard for me not to. I'll just take that. Oi, yay, yay, he didn't like that. Sorry, I was touching up on your There's customers. No way I'm leaving that thing alive. Oh, combat gel. Don't let it do that. Oop, there we go. Oop, here we go. Let me give us some answers. Uh, listen up, everyone. I took a look at some recordings of your tours. Uh, why are they so boring? Graphics are this and that kind of robot, yada yada yada. And then you get all technical. Uh, there are kids there, you know? Young pioneers, octopus. You gotta keep them entertained. Yeah, watch this. This is Robot Graphic. He's really nice and friendly. He might be a little on the chubby side, but uh, he's really neat. Or, I don't know, he kicks ass. You want us to say ass in front of the kids? You know what I mean. Don't say he kicks ass, say... I don't know. Something else. Make the tours fun. Let the little buggers crawl all over the bot. Let them mm. ride them or something. Maybe I don't not. Know. They're safe and fun. We need to get the kids interested in robots, not put them to sleep. Yeah, that was your downfall. And for the love of God, don't let the robots hang on to any of these. And the only one that may not kill them is Nora. And that's still not a good bot to let them hang on. Granted, she wants us to hang on her. Oh. The socks are kind of easy once you figure them out. Don't encounter many of the other ones. Hey! Been a while. Uh... So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? Quiet. Oh, I'm not sure what to do. See, the thing is, this area has been so different with so much just walking around and looking at stuff in the upper area that I'm not 100% sure how much of an episode I'm going to end up having at this point in time. Oh, oh, so close. What can I dismantle for one? You're joking. I'm literally one off. I really don't know where to stop. Can I at least get that gun? Here we go. How does it work? Hold it uh. up to my neurosensor contacts. Oh. Deactivated. Mm. Not big on that. Really wish it was the middle finger. That would have been a bit funnier. Oh, can that fat boy ammo thing fuck off? Now what? Oh. Hi. Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or? Breaker. The Cherish Cobra is a state-of-the-art model with a self-repairing system. A famous actress and cosmonaut contributed to its creation. I don't give two wet farts. Much better. With your permission, I'd like to deliver a speech now. Oh, Greetings, God. comrades, and welcome to the All-Soviet Exhibition Center. Exhibition. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. Oh. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter Wait, what. Wait, that horrific. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. 
but there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, oh I Jesus. I guess nobody expected this to happen. Okay, bot. Except Set for literally VH everyone. Drill mode. drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you and may lead to death of the surviving people, assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots, but you are unharmed. This arouses suspicion. Prove that you are a human. I'm sorry, what? I will what? not follow the orders of a robot pretending to be one. What the and how am I supposed how? to do that? Commit seppuku? You must <laughs> pass the Darwin test. Pardon? This will prove that you are a human. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> what the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I gladly confirm this information. Fine. Knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove oh, that no. you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. Yes, you are. Also, what? Come on. If I have to pass a Darwin test, I'm screwed. Not because I'm not robot, but because I'm just an idiot. Jesus. Oh, find symbol voice of the motherland. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Okay. And I need to find a symbol of the motherland. about that thank you okay here you go take it before I drive this axe into your skull so about this Darwin test yes I am always happy to help major there is a lot of things I can say about that here you go no ah. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Please stop. God, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. <laughs> I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. I can tell. <laughs> okay, um... So... Yes! Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying Surprisingly colors. Surprisingly enough. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? I already told you, you, you dumb bot. I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Oh, I swear to God. But I can provide you with a solution. You Better. A single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Oh. Jeez. Did they scatter um. her all over the complex or something? Why do you ask? How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I um. can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. 
So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. There's something oddly sexual about what you just said. This whole thing is just monstrous. The robots must have completely lost their minds. The humans are about to as well. Please, I swear to God, walk faster. Oh my, would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you... Wait, what? How do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. You need therapy. And this one. It just stands there buck naked <laughs> as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? I th think she does. Honestly, at this oh point, my. we're both That's driven insane. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. Please. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. You don't have a brain. God, kill me. Oh, I envy you humans. You can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monster. Oh, that's where she was off. going with that. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to. Oh, well, let's change the subject. Wait, what? There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off uh, humans uh, from a distance. Harmless. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single okay. thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking. You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, hey, the yes. monstrous repair vendor hey. who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. Oh, it well, yes, yeah, she algorithms is. algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah. Why? Move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade. What capsule are you on about? Don't talk about Nora like that. Sweet Lass is a lovely, lovely companion. Oh, who's that good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy, you little goof? You don't hmm. attack people even when you're in combat mode because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? I think the fact that all the robots had a combat mode, even the servers, should suggest the fact that something is so incredibly are, wrong. wrong. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. What the hell are you on about? Um, what are you getting on? Oh, that's why you're getting on your knees. Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? I'm being as relaxed, bot. Gentle. That's my joints cracking. <laughs> oh, there is something unsettling about this. Ah, does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search and I need the therapy. Floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. 
I'm, oh, Jesus Christ, I didn't want to stare into the eyes of the abyss any longer. <laughs> Nora, please comfort me. Oh, you're not even gonna say a single word to me. I still don't have enough. I'm done, I'm done. What the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Okay. Well, this, this is honestly been... This is probably some of the most fun I've had in a very long time. Atomic Hearts just brings something out of me, doesn't it? Commentary's been really fucking weird. I've been realizing that more and more as I edit through the videos. I should reference... The second one has gone up. Um, the night that I'm recording this is the night before the day that the third episode goes up. I'm recording the fifth episode. Where the hell are we in the mission? Missions. God, help me. And I've done 20 missions. Someone send help I have a problem and I don't think there's a cure I'm not joking I can't stop thinking about this freaking game I have never had a game that's entranced me so hard as this one has oh god it's infuriating and yet kind of lovely at the same time Oh, I need help. Okay, for right now, I'm gonna end this episode of Atomic Hearts off here. If you're curious about a lot of the references I've made to previous episodes, then go ahead and check out the playlist below. Uh, other than that, maybe think about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Other than that, be good, be well, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Please, God, someone send help. <laughs> Bye. Be good, be well, goodbye.